Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be showing you one of the most awful things you've ever seen. So uh, if you get disgusted by images easily, I'd suggest you close your eyes. Alright, here's an iPhone 4. Ah, look at the back, it's cracked! Alright, I may have exaggerated. It's not the most awful thing you've ever seen in your life, but still sucks to have a broken iPhone and this iPhone's now ruined. No, it's not. Alright, I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So to do that, I'm going to switch to the other camera, which is HD, and um, you'll probably see what I'm doing better. Alright, so here we go. I have the broken iPhone, as you can see, right there. It is cracked. It's not that bad, but we'll get to look more. Here I have a replacement part for the iPhone. Um, Alright, that can come out like that, I guess. Uh, so it's exactly the same part as the back of an iPhone. Just yeah, you can buy this on eBay, it's not that expensive. And I got a very small screwdriver. So the first thing you want to do is unscrew these screws. So, um, I'm just going to fast forward this part as I do this. Alright, so now you'll see the screws are very tiny. They're actually extremely tiny. I'm just going to show you. Compared to um, I don't know, compared to an iPhone, that's how small they are. So there, look at the iPhone home button. All right, so just don't lose them. Now the next thing you'll be able to do is you'll be able to push this forward. So let me just slide that forward so you can see, and it will actually lift out. You want to be very careful. You are handling an expensive device. And the back of this looks just like the back of this. So we're actually replacing it with a new iPhone back. This is now useless. And then place that. You're going to want to put that right back in the same way you had it. So put it back in snugly. So push it down there that way. Leave a little bit exposing and then slide it. And when you hear it click, well at least it clicked for me. I don't know if it clicks for you. That no, That means you know it's good. And then the hard part, sorry, especially hard for me because my screwdriver is not in top notch condition, but it's the only screwdriver I had small enough. Originally, I used a larger screwdriver, which I used to take apart my MacBook, but that was also too big. Alright, you're going to want to put the screws back. Remember, we do not want to lose these screws. Even by dropping it in there, I could lose it. So, uh, be very careful. I'm going to place that right big, back in. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So, I'm going to. Screw it into the right. Screwing it in is actually a lot easier than it was to screw it out. At least for me. Now the other side. Remember, don't drop it into the wrong hole. You might never see your screw again. And you just, I don't even know how you would buy a new one. Righty tighty. Coming back in slowly but efficiently. Make sure it's nice and tight until you can't screw it in anymore. There we go, we got an iPhone. Good as new, can't even tell. And here this we got this broken iPhone part. So um Thanks for watching Mac Kids 101. Alright, so here we are. We got our iPhone. This is much less sad to look at. We got a nice iPhone, not broken. And we got our broken glass panel. And if I were to sell this, uh, nobody would know I replaced the parts. It's just, it's exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. And it's a great iPhone, not broken. So that's what you do if your iPhone back breaks, at least. It's pretty easy to replace. Um, yeah, so I hope this was helpful to you if you broke your iPhone back again. Uh, just look up iPhone rear panel on eBay if you want to buy it. It's pretty cheap. I think I got it for like 15 bucks, including shipping, something like that. Alright, so I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching MacKids101. Feel free to subscribe.